Hey guys, I am out here on this little island that I kayak to with my dog Charlie, the adventure pup. Yesterday was a crazy experience. I had this huge hammerhead shark come up to me and my friends in the water and it was absolutely nuts. So I'm really appreciating life today and I'm so glad that I can bring you guys this new adventure. I'm taking you to Harbor Island. It's a beautiful island with one of my best friends, Valentine Thomas. I don't know if you've heard of her, but she was on the Joe Rogan podcast. She's an amazing chef and spearfisher woman and one of my best friends. What we're planning on doing is going out shooting some trigger fish and a bunch of other seafood, but I really want to make you guys this beer battered trigger fish sandwich. It's one of my favorites and it's just absolutely incredible and everybody always loves it. So I thought I'd show you guys how to make it. But before we get into it, I know I owe you guys an explanation of where I've been lately and why I haven't been posting as much on any of my social media channels, honestly. So I'm gonna keep it short and sweet and not really get into details because I just want to respect everybody's privacy. But to get straight to the point, I ended my relationship with my fiance that I had been with for since I was 17 years old. After the breakup, I moved out of my apartment. I moved all my stuff into a storage unit and I was just trying to find a place here in Miami where prices have skyrocketed after COVID. So that's been a challenge. So I apologize that I've been MIA. I miss you guys so much. I really, really do. And I can't wait to just get back into it and, and just find a good routine. But I've been working a lot. I've been spending time with my family and my friends. I've been dating, I've been traveling a lot, I've been filming a lot of content for you guys. I just need to find time to get in and edit those videos. Anyway, ending my relationship was a very difficult, very sad and very scary decision. Even though I knew it was the right one, but I also didn't want to involve my family and friends. So since I didn't really have anyone to talk to, my mom suggested that I speak to a therapist and I'm really glad I did because my therapist helped me evaluate the situation from a different perspective and really helped me follow through with everything that I wanted to follow through with uh, without any regrets. Which coincidentally leads me to the sponsor of this video which is BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an online therapy service that connects you with a licensed therapist who's trained to listen and give you helpful unbiased advice. With BetterHelp you can have your therapy sessions at whatever time is convenient for you and you can have them over the phone, as a video chat, or even via messenger. You can text them if you prefer that. Whatever's most comfortable for you. It's really easy to get started. You just click the link in the description, fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then in most cases, you'll be matched with a therapist within 48 hours or less. And then if you feel like you don't really connect with that therapist that you were matched with, you can easily switch to a new one. When I was younger going to therapy, I had to go to like three different ones before I found one that I really liked. So it's common. It's common in therapy not to like match with the first one that you ever try. The guys, life is absolutely beautiful, but at times it can be really hard. We deal with breakups, death, addictions, traumas, abuse, regrets. We have a lot of stuff on our minds. We all have something going on and it's important to know that you don't have to deal with it all on your own. Even I was apprehensive about it at first. I don't really like asking people for help, but now I actually look forward to my therapy sessions. So if you think you might benefit from therapy, consider BetterHelp. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com forward slash Lauren Sarasua. Clicking that link helps support this channel and it also gets you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp so you can connect with the therapist and see if it helps you. All right guys, now back to my video. I'm back here in the Bahamas. I flew here yesterday and met up with my good friend, Valentine Thomas. We came to this beautiful hotel. It's called the Dunmore. We're staying in this villa. Look at this place. It's incredible. We took advantage that we still had some light, so we ended up going spearfishing. I came over to this little spot. We're just gonna jump in really quick about, for about an hour or so. See what we can find. Hopefully we can find some lunch for tomorrow or some dinner, because. I think we're going out for dinner tonight, but we'll see what we can find. I shot two trigger fish, so we're gonna cook those up tonight. Yesterday, we had some like mix up with reservations, so we ended up going to these people's boat, and it was so cute. They were feeding sea turtles behind the boat. It was amazing. Today, we're gonna head out spearfishing again. I'm gonna try to get some more trigger fish for the fried fish sandwiches and whatever else we can eat so that we can prepare them up. 
Valentine is an incredible cook. She came out with this amazing cookbook. I'm gonna link it down below so that you guys can check it out. I'm gonna head out. Before I get to footage on the boat, I'm gonna give you guys a nice tour of this place. So this is our ride, this guy, super cool, goes really fast. to the boat we got our good captain here he's gonna be putting us on the big huge world record fish <laughs> right yep that's, that's to do. no pressure <laughs> so we're all very excited we're excited to get out there there's a little bit of a storm coming in but we're not too worried about that it's a passover okay. yeah it's just a passover so wish us luck we're gonna head out to our first spot it's super shallow here it's like not even 10 feet right 7.1 feet look how beautifully clear it is i am so excited to get in wow look at those coral heads oh my god i am so excited i can't wait to get in
gonna show you how to set up a pole sphere. Huh? So there's three parts, Maybe. and this is obviously the top where you penetrate the fish. I might have one of these. Then we have the middle. It's, it's just a pole, time. and then we have the back part. This is a roller pole sphere, so it's got a roller set up here with the handle, and I use this like kind of leash to put some space between me and my belt reel. So when I'm trying to like move my arm forward, it doesn't get stuck like this. So obviously first we have the male top to the female bottom. This is just the middle portion. Just screw it in like that. And you want to make sure that your injector rod, this is the injector rod, you want to make sure that it's screwed in nice and tight. You just screw it in and then you have this little bolt here that keeps it in place. All right, next we have the bottom part. Just screw that in too. All right, that's done. And now, I'll show you how this part works. So here we have the tip, close at the edge. When you shoot a fish, it goes like this. And then, there's a there. golfer. And then you fight the fish like that. And so you want to take the rope out of the fish, then you just pull it up, <laughs> the loop around that, and then you just pull it through the fish like that. It's super easy. Very well designed. So to put this back on, put it through this little loop. Put the loop through the little hole. And then you put it through this part here. And then right over the tip. And just pull this part forward. And there's tension on this rubber band. And that's what keeps your slip tip, this part, in place. So pretty much all right. Anywhere. All right, guys, we're all suited up, ready to get in. Wish us luck. This part is around 20 feet deep. Not too bad at all. All right, see you in the water.
Alright, so we just finished at our first spot. I got a lionfish and Valentine got a yellow jack. They're so delicious. So I'm very excited for that tonight's dinner. Alright guys, just got to another spot. I'm gonna jump in. I shot one and Jose got the other. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I think he's over there. Thank you. bunch of fish today so safe to say the captain did a good job thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> we had so much fun but we're gonna head in now hopefully we can make a really nice dinner see what we can come up with and we'll take you along Babes 
Triggerfish skin is so hard, you can actually cut yourself on it if you're not careful. It's very, very, very hard. No. They ate coral? Yes. Yeah. That's where they have those teeth. Really? Yeah. Gee, they found coral in their stomach. All right, guys, so we're in the kitchen now. Yeah, we got these yeah. fillets of trigger fish. Like Check them out. Yeah. We cut them up a bit, we took out all the bones, and now we're just gonna season them with some Old Bay seasoning, salt and pepper, and then we're gonna put them in the beer batter to get them fried up. Excuse me, did you say Old Bay seasoning? No, no, no. Just kidding, Valentine Thomas seasoning, Bahama Mama. That's better. <laughs> I forgot we had this. I'm so glad we do this. Oh, wow, these are good. This is the best seasoning, guys. I'm so happy that Valentine brought some of these because I just ran out. We're gonna oh, steal it. Good morning, yeah, we're gonna steal it and everything. We're gonna steal it. So yeah, this is much better. Won't you just do this? Yeah. Oh, you do. How many people are we? He does yeah. seven, right? All right, now that we're all done with that, we're just gonna finish the beer batter. I already started it. What we have is all-purpose flour, Old Bay seasoning. Should have used Valentine's Almonds' Bahama Mama, but all I had was Old Bay at the time. So we have that. Cornstarch as well. And we're just gonna add some Cholula hot sauce and some beer, and then dip these up and fry them up. <laughs> you just wanted a snack. You probably deserved it. <laughs> oh, sorry, you for me. Okay. Don't worry. Look at this. You can, you can see me. Yeah. <laughs> That's what that was sick, right? So what are you doing then? Dipping the fish in the beer batter. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, the trigger fish looks amazing. Yeah, it's so good. So, then should you put the cartridge sauce on the table? Wow. Oh, I need a, I need a plate. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video as usual. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.